I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so, just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us. Don't fret about that, Melikar. A thing like that would have scared anybody. Just take care of, um... What is your wife's name? Hannah. Mm. So, take good care of her. Now open up that shed. God be with you. Now let's wait and see what happens. Mama, Mama. Wait, did both quest leaders smile at you? Well, okay. Which do we begin? After waiting for a couple hours, you should go back and talk to some fancies. Welcome. Welcome back to the land of the living. Why? Who, who are you? My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. Really? How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate executioner busy too long. If you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> chief. Oh. Who's the chief? The bandit leader? Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't check so he's a foreigner german don't think so for sure he ain't check and he's got plenty of coin i'd stake my neck on it he's got noble blood in his veins judging by how he looks more by the way he talks any man can dress up like nobility but he spoke all la di da like a lord Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyed. But he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. What? How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Pribislav, it's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord, and common footbags who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles, and the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. Know what I mean? Yes. I suppose so. It was one big muddle. 
The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the cheat was or what he had in mind or whether he had one ball or two. Mm. All I was interested in was the coin. Mm -hmm. How did you know about Pribis Lovitz? Who took you there? A fellow by the name of Moorcock. We met near Kuttenberg. I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking and he told me about Pribis Lovitz. <laughs> His name's amazing. Why did you attack Merhoyed? The chief himself gave us the order. Uh, I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Pribis Lovitz was only the start. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I brought those Groshen to Pribis Lovitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be, might not. He could have heard what happened in Pribis Lovitz and decided not to show. And does this Menhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. <sighs> who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt and me, there was a few others. <clears throat> The men got some real money, too, with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart, too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence. Apparently. Give it to me, then. I'd be delighted. Huh. What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. And that's all. Hmm. That's all I need to know for now. For now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I already told you everything I know. I can't deny you've been cooperative. I'll do my best to see you get a quick end. Wow. I thought we were going to save him. Henry, I think old Straw's come for the brigand. Step back from that either, young fella. But... But you can't kill me! Not just like that! Shut the fuck up, you weasel! I keep it fucking shut! You don't even get a say! Calm down, Straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's... Don't stand in my way, Malikar! Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. Let's talk about it. To hell with that. That horse will kill my boy. He won't leave Mara yet alive. Uh, let's see if the towel will let me win. I understand, Straw, truly. I lost my parents. He was slain in front of my eyes, and to the day I die, I'll never forgive myself for doing nothing to save them. What of it? My parents are dead too. My father was kicked by a horse and took two weeks to die of it. But to outlive your own child, you don't know what you're talking about. That 
bastard is going nowhere. Listen to me, Straw. That isn't going to help anyone. You're a decent man, not a killer. Think of your wife. And where's the justice in that? My boy cut down to this youth. Didn't even have a chance to marry. And that cutthroat swine left walking the earth. Do you really want to defy your lords and masters? If I have to. That son of a whore deserves to swing. If you don't have the balls for it, step aside and leave it to me. I'm kind of... Uh, I could not compete with this guy. But... I've got no time for your drunken babbling, Straw. That bandit is going with me, and if you try to stop me, you'll get hurt. Is that clear? Strong words for a stripling like you. We'll fight for I've them. I've already beat you That's the way you want it. 